right, let's talk about Atomize Me. All right, so Atomize Me, little bit, uh, I got to say, so when I, when I wrote this one, I was really sick with COVID, and I was watching that Beatles Get Back documentary, which I loved. If you haven't checked it out, you should watch it because it is very sick. doesn't matter what you do if you're in a band or whatever. If you do anything creative... I think it's a very good watch. Uh, anyways, I was watching those those guys uh, throw a lot of chords into things, and I was in a bit of a haze with my sickness and all. So I kind of I banged out this one and threw a few more chords into a song that I usually do. Um, but anyways, let me just play this intro for you, and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> So the chords, it's 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 kind of like this 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 shape here. I don't know what this chord is. It's an A of some kind. Um, I've got uh, so I've got my pinky on the seventh string, my first finger on the fifth string of the B string, and then uh, my middle finger on the sixth fret of the G string and my ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. So that's a little, I think that was a terrible explanation of what I'm doing, but you can see with the art, with the miracle of cameras, what I'm doing here. So, so this is the basic shape. And then I'm moving to a D and the D's like this, or sorry, it's a, there it is. So here's, here's the two shapes that I'm doing. And then, And then I do a little walk down. All right, so let, let's let's talk about those. What I'm doing within that E, or sorry, A to D. So I've got an octave, uh, which is the seventh fret of the D string, and I'm bending it. And then I'm going. So real slow. And then hitting that E to kind of reset things, then back to the A. Then I walk that down. And then this little power chord, which is an F sharp, up the octave. B. And then I go A. F sharp, and then we all come crashing in on that C sharp, and then do a little chromatic thing. So again, those are, that's that's kind of that's the intro. So we're going from this A thing. So that little chromatic thing is C sharp, ba 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 ba, and then C C sharp E F. Then we hit the verse. So the verse, let me play a verse and we'll talk about it. So.
That's it. So we're going from an A, just ring that thing out, and then we're doing this little riff on the on the D chord. So um, I'm just playing the second fret of the G string to the fourth fret, and just kind of I'm walking up and I'm walking down. Fourth fret of the D string is the end there. And then an F sharp power chord. And then an a open A string to a B power chord. And then we hit the chorus. And the chorus is, a, is, is where it gets a little strange. So that's why we hit an F. Okay, so let's do that chorus again. So we're from the verse, we're going. And then, baby just atomize me. So we're going from F, and then A, F sharp, C sharp, F, 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 A, F sharp, C sharp, and then E. And then this little walk down on the A. A, A flat, F sharp, E, and then a D7. And then the second verse, same chords and everything, I just do this little, this little, I take that thing that I'm doing in the intro and I just kind of make a pinch harmonic out of it. It's like. <laughs> And then we have this little pre-chorus thing just in the second verse, which is a D with an with the E strings open. So it's like B D B And that's the forget my name part, the bridge. It's basically the same as the chorus, just a, 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 some slight variations. So it's like. And then that, ba that basically gets to the end of the bridge. And what I'm doing here, uh, I'll play it and then I'll explain it. So we'll get to that part. But anyway, so that the last bit of that bridge part is 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 the same kind of walk down that we're doing at the end of the chorus, but I'm doing it up the octave. Um, so again, 12th fret of the A string, 14th fret of the G string, and then I'm just I'm keeping that I'm keeping this guy here the whole time, and I'm just walking down. So uh, with the root note. So and that's the 14th fret of the E string, 12th fret. So. And then that D7 again. And then move it up the octave! Bend the shit out of it! And that's the same thing as the uh, intro. Of the 
song, same thing. That's the whole song. That's it. So you got a couple different chord progressions, a couple different variations on those chord progressions, but pretty simple overall. No shredding. Um, good little bit of chugging at the end and the beginning. What's life without chromatic walk-ups, guys? Anyways, I hope you enjoy playing Atomize Me as much as we do. So thanks for your interest. Good luck. Hail, hail. <laughs>